y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on today's story time before we get into the video make sure you are subscribed to the channel give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and turn on your post bell notifications and if you ever want to send me a confession the link the link the email to do so is in the description box below hey y'all so um i don't know what i'm gonna title this video right but um it's not like a normal, like, upbeat, funny, real hyped up story. Um, when I think about, like, things that I've been through to tell y'all, it's not like I, you know, like, think so far out in advance. It's kind of just like, oh, if I see something, I remember, like, oh, I can relate to that or something similar has happened to me or I went through that exact same thing. I can share my experience, blah, blah, blah. That's kind of like how I come up with content. Um, so the other day, a couple days ago, when y'all see this, I was watching Simone's video. If you know who Simone is, I know all of y'all know who Simone is because a lot of y'all came from Simone's channel to subscribe to me. Shout out to my girl. I love her so much. Um, but yeah, her most recent upload really just got me thinking. Um, she said something like she wanted to share her situation and what she's been through and if you haven't seen like her most recent upload go watch that it was a great video um but I just I, like I took from that like I could share something that I've been through and not feel like ashamed or whatever we're just gonna get into it um I'm just gonna like really like speak from my heart I didn't know if I wanted to talk about this, but I'm going to talk about it. Um, I don't know how much detail I'm going to go into. I'm just going to speak how I feel and it just is going to be what it's going to be. So um, if you are looking for like a more funny story or something, you don't want to talk about stuff serious. I'm not trying to be like super duper serious, but... Yeah, let's just get into it. I'm rambling. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. So, this basically is about how I had a best friend who switched up on me. And she switched schools and she switched up. So, we're going to name this girl Raven. For the sake of this video, it's not her real name. Y'all know I don't use real names most of the time. Sometimes I do. I'll give it up. But Raven and I were best friends. I think it was like eighth grade year we were not clo that close in middle school um but going into high school we just got really really close and you ever have one of those friends where you feel like it's your soulmate but in like friend form that's how raven was to me like she was literally like i don't even know how to like explain our connection like we just got each other like I have never been closer to anybody else in my whole life like not Sparkle not Mercedes not nobody and that's like it's so unfortunate how all of this panned out because I just felt like that was my person like she got me I got her she was my safe space like I just I just feel like she is like the prime example of how you never really know a person like you never really know a person like I loved her with all of me y'all like I loved her so 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 much like she was literally like my soulmate but in a very platonic way um so Raven um me and Raven were like on the cheer team together like always saying like we was like this like freaking frack like that was that was my girl so I can't remember um freshman year when I think this was freshman year I think um did y'all just hear my stomach growl um I think it was freshman year she moved she transferred to another school I can't remember what part of the year it was but some point during freshman year she transferred school and she just went to the next town over like she didn't move states or nothing like that um, her mom, they was like moving or some shit. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Point is, she moved. Okay. Um, and when she moved, it's not like we stopped hanging out. We just stopped hanging out as much. And for one reason or another, you got your own stuff going on at your school. I got 
class and cheer and volleyball and all of this we were still kicking it but not like kicking it every single day no more which kind of like made me feel some type of way because you know that's my girl i don't want to hang out with nobody else so it's whatever but i'm still thinking we cool um i started hanging out with this other girl i won't say like i started hanging out with her um we got back in contact this was somebody that um my mom was friends with her mom. Well, my mom is an AKA. Her mom is an AKA. So, they're sorors. And they bonded over that. And this girl, which I'm not going to give her name um, at all. Just, she going to be this girl. Um, you know, like, when we was growing up, I used to, like, go to her birthday parties. And we used to, you know, like, have play dates and shit like that. Like, a very sweet girl growing up. I soon learned that that girl that I knew growing up, growing up, was not the same girl that I got back in contact with years later, right? So, um, and th also this girl went to Raven School, but I don't think they were like in the same circle or anything like that. So, um, one night I did something very stupid and I snuck out the window of my house to go hang out with her. Um, Something very traumatic happened to me that night, and yeah, just, I don't want to go into like too deep of detail about that, but just use your discernment. Um, my innocence was taken away from me, and I was, what, how old are you in ninth grade, like 14? I was 14 years old. Um... And I told nobody. I told literally nobody. Nobody knew this about me until, like, my mom. N nobody knew this about me. Not Raven. Not no nobody knew this about me until, like, I just told my mom, like, two years ago. This happened to me. Like, we had, like, a two-hour cry session on the phone of me breaking down my trauma. Um, that happened... And it was just like a lot for me to process just being a child. I didn't want to tell anybody because I didn't like, like, I just didn't want people to look down on me or like judge me. I thought that was my fault. I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. I should have never snuck out. Like, it was just a lot going through my head. And I'm 14, y'all. Y'all have to, I'm a child. Please understand this. I'm a child. Something very traumatic just happened to me. Like, it shifted the way I looked at everything in my life situations friends guys just um so that happened I didn't tell anybody um I was just kind of just processing it I felt like I felt like if I like said it out loud then that would make it real And I didn't want that to be real. Like, I, like, I, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Um, I felt like if I told somebody or, like, said it out my mouth that that happened to me, I would have to, like, it would become, like, my reality. And I didn't want to deal with the aftermath of that because I knew that that would be like such a huge thing and it would be dragged out. And I just didn't like I was trying to do everything to like suppress that memory and forget about it. Act like it didn't happen. It was my fault. Like, um, so yeah, I'm just going about my life. I'm still in school. Um, this is before I even was, um, diagnosed with like anxiety disorder new about depression anything like that um I remember one day I was at school and I was just having like a day like I was just having like a really bad day and like I said Raven Raven was like my safe space and I know somebody's gonna be like well if she was your safe space like why didn't you tell her I didn't tell nobody I didn't like I would tell my mama before I told anybody it's not like I just purposely chose to like exclude Raven like it's not like I just 
purposely chose not to just not tell her. Like, I didn't tell nobody. So, I just remember I texted her. I called her. I'm sorry. I called her. This was after I got out of school. Because we got out of school at the same time. And this was in between when I got out of school, my last class, and before I had to go to cheer practice. Like, 20, 30 minutes in between. Um, I called her. And she ignored my call. And I know that she ignored my call because it went to a voicemail like mid ring. So I text her. I sent her like some question marks or something. And I was like, um, can you talk right now? I just need to like vent. Like I'm not in like the best of moods. Like some shit like that. And she texted me back and she said, stop texting my phone. So I'm confused. Me and her haven't been into it. We haven't, like, been arguing. I thought we was good. Like, I didn't do nothing. Like, I'm, I'm genuinely confused. So, I text back, like, did I do something wrong? Like, I'm I'm trying to make sure she good. And I'm struggling. Like, I'm literally on the verge of, like, a mental breakdown. And I'm trying to make sure you good. Like, are you okay? Like, did I do something? You good? She texts back again. Stop texting my phone. <laughs> um. And So after that, I go to cheer practice and I'm just crying. Like, I'm crying so bad. Like, I tried to make it through. I really did. I really, really did. I'm crying so bad. And my cheer coach is like, are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm just like, no, I need to go home. Like, I need to call my mom. I need to go. I can't do this. It's not like I didn't have people, like, in my corner if I did choose to share what happened to me but it's just like I don't know like I just I couldn't bro I couldn't I'm sorry I hate when people get on camera and cry bro Um, so I get in the car and we go home. My mom's asking me, am I okay? And I'm just like, no, I don't want to talk about it though. Still trying to suppress, you know, my feelings and shit like that. Um, and I do just also want to say that, um, y'all know how I told y'all, like, I used to get bullied a lot, like a whole lot, like up until I graduated high school, honestly, but before I got to high school, it was more so just, like, people talking about my looks. Oh, you're tall. You got big lips. You're skinny. Sometimes, oh, you're light skin. You think you're better than somebody because you're light skin. Shit like that. When I got to high school, it turned into, like, rumors and false accusations about me, about guys. Like, I'm a hoe. I'm a slut. I'm a this. I'm a that. Because guys would just try to on me and I wasn't going for none of that so they would lie and they would tell people that I was doing this and doing that when I wasn't doing none of that with nobody and I just um what makes this like even more like heartbreaking is like Raven knew how I was Raven knew me Raven knew my body like I'm not going for none of that and the people who were involved in what happened to me that night went around telling people that I willingly did XYZ. When, like, that don't even sound right. That don't even sound right coming out of somebody's mouth talking about me. Raven knew that. And she chose to believe what other, like, you know how, like, you, you, you think you know somebody or like y'all been friends or close or whatever for X amount of years. And you think like, damn, I thought you had more respect for me than that. Like, I thought you thought more of me than that. Like, you've known me for all of these years, however many years we was friends or known me or whatever. And you transfer a few weeks, two months, maybe what? I don't even know. Like, it was not that long. And you start letting people get in your ear about me, your best friend. Like, you didn't defend me. You didn't say, no, she wouldn't do no shit like that. You didn't say, I don't believe that. Nah, I know her better than that. 
I know people, I know for a fact people have created all of these rumors about her. Like, that's not true. You didn't defend my name. You didn't do nothing. You went to that school and you just started believing shit. People put in your ear just believing shit. Like, hating ass bitches. Like, salty ass niggas. Like, you just started believing that shit. So, um... People trying to check on me, like I said, it's not like I didn't have people in my corner. I just, I just couldn't bring myself to, um, just talk about it and like say out my mouth, like, this is what happened to me. This is what I'm struggling with. I'm having a lot of thoughts. I don't want to say the word. I'm, I'm, I was struggling, bro. I was struggling really, 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 really bad. And I'm not coming on here to give sympathy from nobody. I don't want nobody pity. I'm not nobody's victim. I survived that. I got myself through that shit. Nobody helped me through that. I got myself up out of that mind state, up out of that hometown, up out of everything like me, by myself. I'm I'm not coming on here for people to be like, oh, that like, nah, I'm, I'm nobody's victim, bro. I'm not. I'm just sharing my experience because i know for a fact it's a lot of girls out here who have gone through similar or worse shit than this and it's okay to talk about it bro it's okay it's okay to talk about it um but anyways let me get back to the story so what was i saying yeah i went home from cheer practice i'm crying don't want to talk to nobody people reaching out to me um I'm ignoring everybody try to go to sleep sleep it off wake up of course still feeling shitty and i don't know what it was about me just always having to be on social media but as soon as i woke up i got on facebook i should have never did that shit i got on facebook um hold on i got on facebook and some just told me to go to raven page i go to raven page and she unfriended me on Facebook. Keep in mind, I still don't know what the fuck I've done to this girl. Like, for you to switch up that bad. Like I said, y'all, like, it's it's nothing that we could have, like, not gotten through. Like, I loved her so much. I would have done anything for that girl. Anything. There's nothing that she could have asked me where I would not have done. Like, I loved her so, so much. And for you to just, like, essentially, like, ghost me like this and switch up on me, especially at a time like this. Like, I promise you, if it wasn't no weird shit, like, if, if it wasn't, like, no weird shit going on with her, I would have told Raven exactly what happened to me. I would have. Because me thinking that you the same girl that I've grown to, to, you know, get to know and love, of course, I can feel safe talking to you about this. She would have helped me through that, or so I thought, right? She unfriended me, and of course, that's making me cry even harder. So, I'm like, what the fuck, bro? So, I think the next day, I didn't go to school, um, or I did. I went late. It was some shit like that. I don't know. I was just, like, very quiet. And people who know me in real life don't know me to be quiet and just laid back, reserved. Like, I'm always talking, laughing, smiling, joking. Like, when I'm quiet, it's like, I don't feel good. There's something going on. I got an attitude, something. So, something was off. So, all day, people's asking you, like, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong? And you know how, like, when you're sad, or is this just me? When you're sad already, if somebody asks you what's wrong, that make you cry. Like, you cannot be, like, you don't have to be crying already in the moment. Like, but somebody be like, are you okay? Like, what's wrong? And then just... So, people was asking me that all day. So, I'm crying all day. And I'm still like, I don't want to talk about it. I'm fine. Like, I don't want to talk about it. Blah, blah, blah. Me not even knowing that. Some people already know the shit that's happened to me. But not in the correct way. Like, people thinking I'm just getting flipped and tossed and turned around and passed around. Like a damn dog toy. When I got... You feel me? I'm not knowing this at the time, though. So... Once again, go home, get on Facebook, and I get on my Facebook, and I see, like, all of these people have, like, been, like, commenting my name or mentioning my name, and I'm like, what is this? So, I click on what everybody has been mentioning me in. Somebody has taken it upon themselves to create a 
host of Insert Town Name on Facebook, and my pictures is one of the pictures on there. Keep in mind, no sexual experience, no nothing. Innocence taken away. I didn't even know like what nothing was y'all like the purest of pure like hadn't done nothing just kiss the guy that's the most i've ever 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 done up until this point so i see that and i see raven in the comments on the page under the picture of me on this page and she's not laughing or no shit like that but she's just being like Oh my God, like, oh my God. Um, and she was conversing with a girl who she knew to have bullied me for years because of a guy. Literally, this girl bullied me so bad because of a guy I didn't even want. I talked, it was a guy, he was interested in me. I tried talking to him for like a summer. It didn't go anywhere. We never did anything, never linked, never nothing. Most we did was talking sex on the phone. I was not interested. I cut it off because he wanted to fuck me and I was not going for that. So he got mad and he started spreading rumors about me. Then he got with this girl that Raven became friends with. He got with this girl and she extended the rumors. Like she started spreading rumors about me too because of this guy. Like where I come from, it's it's not dangerous, but to me, like it is kind of because the things that people will do to you and say about you and just try to literally like ruin your life over some petty ass shit. We doing this over niggas, stupid ass guys, immature ass baby ass boys. We really doing this like we really, really doing this like for real. Like, it's the, the type of shit that girls would do for validation, the type of evil shit that they would do for male validation from my hometown is sick as fuck. And I know for a fact, if any girl who I grew up with, went to school with, lived where I live, anything, you can definitely attest to that. And it may not have been as bad as shit that happened to me, but it's that still don't make it any less valid. Like, it's sick as fuck. We doing this over guys? For real? Once I seen that, and I seen she was like a kiki in, and like, I went on her page, because her page was still public, we just was not friends no more. I seen that the girl was like commenting on her pictures, and they was like talking and laughing and all this. Like, when did you become friends with the op? She switched up so bad, bro. She switched up so, so, so bad. And it broke my heart, bro. It broke my heart. That hurt me to my core. Like, I looked at people so different after what happened to me and after she just ghosted me, switched the fuck up for no reason at all, especially during a time like this. I couldn't trust nobody, bro. Nobody. So, after that, it was what it was. Just like any other rumor. Rumors come, rumors go. If this was out, you'd have talked to town and a couple weeks later, some other shit going on. So, um after that like years went by a couple years went by i think this was no this was after um we graduated i never talked to her again um never said anything to her y'all when i was at um dang god i was gonna say school name when i was a freshman in college or this might have been when i moved to orlando this was either my freshman or my sophomore year um college i can't remember which one i had an old instagram but this had to be after sean because the social media that I had when I was with him, I deleted all that and I just started fresh whenever I moved to Orlando. So this had to be at least sophomore year high school. I mean, college. I created a new Instagram. I was accepting some people from um, my hometown or whatever. Just people that I knew to be like actually good people. Like not everybody that I grew up with was like so evil and cruel and mean and all of that. Like it's some stand up good people where I come from. Not a lot, but some. Um... And somehow she found me. I don't know how she found me, but she found my page and she sent me a request and she messaged me. This a long ass message. I wish I still had the message, y'all, because she still follows me to this day. Uh, I don't follow her or nothing like that, um, but she definitely still follows me to this day. And I do hope that she watches this video. I really do. Because... Um, 
we never talked about that i never got closure no nothing and before i tell y'all what she said in the message i just want to say that like um just to piggyback off of what um simone said in her video sometimes you don't need closure like sometimes your closure is just to like move on with your life like you don't you like nobody owes you an explanation a conversation nothing like sometimes your closure just needs to be to accept what happened to you like feel what you feel and feel that fully and then move on for real because my thing back then was I always wanted somebody to explain why they moved the way that they moved. And sometimes I still struggle with that to this day. Like, like why would you do that? Like, I want explanations for shit because, like, I'm genuinely confused. Like, why would you switch up on me like that when I did nothing but be there for you? Honestly, truly, genuinely. Like, that's why I feel like so many people that, like, I'm friends with or, like, dating or anything, like, they try to, like, spin a block and double back because you knew... I was genuinely here for you, there for you, whatever you... Like, there's... Anybody who I ever deal with on a friend level or romantic level, they're like, that, what? The, the, the. There's nothing that you could have asked me that I would not have done for you with within reason. But what I'm saying is, like, my vibes are always genuine and authentic and true. Like, it's never fake. It's never, like, it's never none of that. Like, I always want to see you do good. I got your best interest. If you need me for anything, I'm there. Like, you got it. I'm only one call away. Like, I got you. I got your back. All of that. So sometimes like you just like you just don't always need like a conversation or explanation or no shit like that. So I said all that to say she messaged me and basically she was just saying how she was so sorry. Um she was looking for me for all of these years. Um and she should have never ever ghosted me. She should have never believed um, the things that people were saying about me, she was just, um, so scared that she wasn't going to be accepted and, um, she didn't want to, um, like not have friends at her new school and the same people that she was like listening to, like was all up in her ear about me, went and went and then switched up on her and started spreading rumors about her. And I've heard rumors about Raven while we were still in school, like junior and senior year. I heard shit about her. I did. I heard shit about this girl. And I didn't believe her for one second. I'm not finna entertain it. I'm not finna indulge in it. I'm not finna do nothing. Like, people would come up to me all the time like, Lauren, you heard da 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 about Raven Knight, da 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 And I'm just like, okay, well, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not finna drag it on. I'm not finna be like, what? Who said that? What? Like, no. Because I know Ray. Well, I thought I knew her. But why would I do that? And it's still shit that I, like... Bro, the people that I tell y'all I fall out with, if I really wanted to ruin people, I could ruin people for real. Like, and I mean that I stand on that ten toes. I could really ruin the fuck out of a lot of people who I, I have been friends with, who I'm not friends with no more. I would never, ever, ever tell y'all Raven business. I would never, ever, ever get on this camera and tell y'all shit that she's told me in confidence, like... It's just, like, me really, like, saying that shit out loud and thinking about, like, you really switched up on me, bro. On me, of all people. I thought we was like this. You switched up on me. And then to, like, believe the shit that hating ass bitches, who we both knew to be hating ass bitches, say about me. Me. That shit is baffling. So I really just wanted to, like, come on here and tell y'all like I don't know what my objective was for this or like what my lesson will just don't push it past nobody um you are not your mistakes your mistakes don't define you and it's not a mistake like let me not say mistakes your trials and tribulations your trauma um bad things that have happened to you that does not define who you are and I struggled with this, y'all, for 10 plus years. I kid you not, 10 plus years. Um, I was just carrying that hurt and that confusion and that trauma on me and in me. And I will admit, that probably did shape the way that I looked at guys. It's like, I started dating this guy after that happened. Um, and I don't know, like, I feel like... 
that really had an impact on like how I moved with him and then the guy after like I don't know like I just carried that around for a long long time I didn't want to talk to nobody about it I didn't want to share it I can't even remember like what was put on my heart or like what I seen or saw or heard to tell my mama a couple years ago but it was just very heavy on me and I was just like I just gotta let this out like I'm the type of person to where like in order for me to heal from stuff I really have to like accept it for what it is feel however I feel whether that's mad sad upset confused like whatever the emotion is you have to feel it like a hundred percent feel it and then get through it like I was just running from that shit like running 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 from it running from it like sweeping it under the rug the rug didn't have no more room for me to put nothing up under that bitch no more I had to let it out and you know like my mom of course being a mom she was just very shocked number one upset angry um confused um she just told me she was proud of me for finally like you know letting that up out of me getting that up off my chest um I never told my dad this happened to me um just I don't even want to get into why my dad just he's just not emotionally available for me um it's not like he was absent but he was in a way whatever that's besides the point but yeah you just gotta like let stuff out and like i always tell y'all my dms are always open some of y'all have we've talked about some deep ass shit in the messages like we have talked about a lot like i want y'all to think like because some of y'all message me and i re i reply back and y'all like oh my gosh you responded like i'm not no big hollywood uppity ass like no i'm not none of that i'm just low you can message me you can say something you could like i'm gonna reply back i see all your messages i respond back to y'all like just talk about it if you feel comfortable because I feel like once you like actually like like say it and accept it that starts your healing journey for real well at least it did for me I don't know about everybody else but that's how it was for me and like I said I'm not I wasn't like telling y'all this to like get sympathy or nothing like that I just wanted to share my experience um and honestly I think that my one and only message out of all of this is to like just be kind to people because you never ever know what somebody is going through like I carried that shit in me and I carried myself so well people didn't even know know what I was struggling with going through on a day to day like beating myself the fuck up like you never ever ever know what somebody is going through like behind closed doors no matter how well they carry themselves so I just always, you know, like, I kick it to y'all how I would kick it to any of my friends in real life. Like, I try to be as open and as transparent as I can be on this channel. I don't never want this YouTube shit to make me somebody that I'm not. Um, yeah, like, it just, it was what it was. And I'm glad that I'm able to have a platform to share stuff like this because maybe this could help somebody else out. I don't know. I hope it does um but yeah y'all sorry that this was not like a super upbeat like you know how we normally vibe I just wanted to talk about that it was on my mind it was on my heart to share that with y'all um and I hope this video helps somebody in some type of capacity I would be happy even if it's just one person so yeah y'all i promise next week we're gonna be back to regularly regularly scheduled programming um it'll be some funny shit i don't know what i'm gonna talk about but i'm finna go record these confessions y'all said y'all wanted three confessions now i got my glasses right here because somebody was on me in the comments last week like look i'm gonna need you to bring your glasses for the next confessions listen it's not me it's partially me partially y'all confessions because some of y'all don't use punctuations y'all be spelling shit wrong like sometimes it do be me because i can't see but so, some sometimes it's y'all too i don't do too much but yeah i'm gonna go record that so y'all gonna see me today and y'all gonna see me tomorrow because you're gonna tune in to confessions episode confessions with love episode four right so you gonna see me today and then you gonna come right back in the morning right okay i'm gonna be expecting you don't worry 
So yeah, y'all, um, thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. I know I rambled a lot, but I also talked about some, some for real shit. But I really appreciate y'all so much. Y'all is really just changing my life, and I love y'all. And before you leave, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Give this video a thumbs up. It's free. Give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you want to turn on your post bell notifications. And if you want to send a confession, the email to do it is in the description box. And I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Peace.